know him by his nickname, Doubting Thomas. That's right. Thomas was one disciple who was not there on that resurrection morning. Jesus had told Thomas and the rest of the disciples that they would all fall away because of him. And Thomas was not with the rest of the disciples on that first resurrection morning. The scripture doesn't tell us where he was. Hiding in fear, possibly. Unbelieving, as we will come to know. But a week later, Jesus and his disciples and Thomas are together again in the room. Jesus comes before them and he gives the very same hope that he gave to Peter and the rest. He gives it to Thomas in those very words, peace be with you. Thomas is a hard sell. He will not believe. I will not believe unless I put my hands in his hands and my hand in his side. I will not believe. And Jesus steps right into his unbelief. He doesn't chew Thomas out because of his unbelief. He doesn't say, Thomas, you should know better. He just steps right into Thomas's life and says, Thomas, take your hand and put it in my hand. Take your hand and put it in my side. Stop your not believing and believe. And right there, Thomas makes most clear confession in the scriptures. My Lord and my God. You see, it's right there where Jesus is, where he invites us out of our unbelief to believe in him and to receive the gifts he's given. Dear saints, there's a lot of times in our lives when we're like Thomas, where we wonder, where we maybe are even in the state of not believing. But our Lord, as we hear by the Holy Spirit, He calls us by the gospel. He continues to hound us and to seek us by His word. So as certainly as Thomas believed by the word of Jesus, so you and I are called out of our unbelief and back into believing back into trusting, back into living in the forgiveness that Christ alone gives to us. It's unfortunate that we call Thomas Doubting Thomas. We should be calling Boldly Confessing Thomas. We should be calling him Faithful Thomas. But we know that Thomas is forgiven, and so are we, by the glorious resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ from the dead. Believe. Believe. 